What's going on everybody? It's Brian for GumballTech.com and now that I have all of my wonderful product review videos out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and start doing iPhone and jailbreak related videos like I did back in the old days. And in this video I'll be showing you all of the jailbroken mods that I currently have installed onto my iPhone 4 and tomorrow I'll be showing you all the jailbroken mods that I have on my iPad. Alright, so like I usually do with these videos, I start at the lock screen and here it is. I'm not using weather elements. I'm just using standard lock info. And you can see that in the background I have my little green grass wallpaper. And the theme that I am using on my iPhone is called... I actually don't remember what it is. I've been using this theme for quite a while. Um, it's called Refined HD. Um, it's a really nice looking theme. I think it's $2.99, but it's definitely worth it. And it themes pretty much everything that you have on your iPhone 4, like most of the GUI interface, all of your App Store icons are themed. You can see there. And you could also choose to have your weather displayed on your lock screen at the top. This is just an HTML wallpaper that Winterboard uses. So let me slide over to my jailbreak page and you can see that my icons are spinning around and doing weird things. And this is thanks to a cool jailbroken mod called Barrel. And basically this brings really cool 3D-ish effects to your icons when you're switching through your pages. So I'll show you the settings for Barrel in a minute. But here are all of my jailbroken apps. Yeah, I obviously have Cydia, and I also have Display Recorder, which lets me display whatever I have on my iPhone screen into an AVI file. I'll also show you the settings for that one in a minute. And of course, I have Lime Rain. That's what that's the tool that I use to jailbreak. And I could get rid of it, but I don't really want to. I actually like the app. The icon looks nice. And I also have iBlank, which is required for this theme if you decide to use the um, the weather on your wallpaper because you need some spaces up here and basically these um, I used eye blank to make four blank icons and when you tap on them they don't really do anything and of course I have iFile installed and this is pretty much a must-have for anybody who jailbreaks and this is because it's a really really nice file system browser and file opener manager thingy um, I think it's $2.99 in the Cydia store. I bought it a long time ago, but it's definitely worth it. And uh, go ahead and Google it if you'd like more information on it. And of course, I have PDANet, the full legit version. I was able to get a license from the developers. And basically, this lets you use your iPhone as a wireless router. And this basically lets you transfer your iPhone's internet connection over your cellular network over to your computer. And the most recent update allows Wi-Fi hotspot capability, so it's more like Wi-Fi, or not Wi-Fi, um, it's more like MyWi, except the developers aren't stupid, and it's cheaper, and it's more easier to use, and it actually always works. So PDANet, if you're into internet tethering, this is the way to go. And you could also choose to start the Wi-Fi hotspot via a ad hoc connection on your computer first, and your you could set your iPhone to connect to it and your internet will be shared. And you could also use Wi-Fi thanks to PDANet's little desktop client that can run on either Windows or Mac OS X. And I have QTweeter, which lets me post to um, Twitter and Facebook at the same time, or either or. And you could also put in photos and videos, your location, and a whole bunch of things. Now, this right here, this is called Graviboard, and this lets you take all of your icons that you might have on your Springboard pages, and it lets you play with them. So, there are a number of different activation methods. For me, I'm using the default, which is to tap and hold on the status bar. Then you could go ahead and fling your icons around. And there's actually this little bug where, under certain circumstances, um, two icons can actually hook up together and it's pretty funny but I guess they don't intend on that happening but you know it's just a cool little novelty this works a lot better on the iPad which I'll show you tomorrow because you know much bigger screen a lot more icons it's more fun to play with and you could actually open applications while it's in this mode since I was in Winterboard let me go ahead and show you the 
other little winter board things that I have. And I have the Nextel Chirp, which is for whenever I get a text message, instead of using the default sound, it will use the Nextel sound. And I also have the You Got Mail sound, so whenever I get an email, it says You Got Mail. Like some, some of you guys have probably heard it in some of my other videos, but that's what that is. And also, I have 3G Unrestrictor, which lets me use my iPhone's 3G connection for pretty much anything that would actually require Wi-Fi. So, example, for updating applications, I could use 3G instead of Wi-Fi only. Like Real Racing 2, it's over 100 megs in size, and usually I would have to be on Wi-Fi to install it. But I could use 3G Unrestrictor, and it lets me use 3G. And this is also great for FaceTime. So I'm going to go over to my... Oh, I also have SB settings, which lets you toggle certain features on and off. It also gives you some information about your device at the bottom. And let me go ahead and go into settings. I'm not using folder enhancer or anything like that because I don't really need to. I like having separate app or separate folders for most of my applications, so I don't really need to use folder enhancer or whatever the other one was called. So I just use the default folders. Also, with the theme, it sort of uh, themes a couple of the multitasking icons, the rotation lock and the iPod button. So here are all of the settings for some of the jailbroken applications that I have. Activator, hopefully you guys know what that is by now. Um, if you don't, you could go ahead and Google it. And here are the settings for Barrel. It's really simple. It gives you different effects. Um, you could choose to use the cube which you can see right here, it has sort of a 3D cube effect, similar to Compiz Fusion in Ubuntu. It's pretty cool. Um, there's also a page slide down and up feature. So that's pretty cool too. But my favorite is Curl and Roll Away because it's the most unique and it's sort of the weirdest. So going back to settings, here we have display out, which lets me mirror what I see on my iPhone's display over to an external monitor or a TV via a component, composite, or VGA cable. Works really well. Display recorder, I mentioned this a little bit earlier, lets you record whatever you have on your iPhone screen into a video file, similar to Fraps or ScreenFlow. Here we have the settings for a Grava board, which you saw earlier, and this lets you change some of the uh, settings for the gravity and those sorts of things. You can also change your activation method. Here we have the settings for lock info. I usually go through lock info on every one of my videos like this, so I'm not going to go ahead. So I'm not going to do that this time. Here we have Safari Download Manager, which lets you download files of any type you like from right within Safari. So there's this new little button on the bottom. This is your download manager, so I could go anywhere I'd like, and I could start downloading files. So that is pretty much all of the jailbroken mods that I currently have on my iPhone 4. It's not much. It's a really simple setup. Um, I really like it a lot. I've been using this setup for the past two or three months, so it's definitely getting a little bit old. I think I'm going to go back to the stock interface for a while, and then when CES rolls around, I'll come back to the refined HD setup so I can show off to some people. Um, but other than that, that's about it with the video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave them down below. If any of you guys are wondering what case I have installed onto my iPhone 4, this is the um, Extreme Mac Tough Wrap for the iPhone 4. I've reviewed this quite a while ago, and this is actually my favorite iPhone 4 case for a couple of reasons. It's very slim doesn't add very much bulk to your iPhone. It gives you a nice lay on the table design and it's cheap and it also comes with a screen protector and it looks good and it covers all your buttons and this is just my favorite iPhone 4 case. So if any of you guys are wondering which case this is, there's your answer. See it right there. So that's about it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow with my iPad jailbreak video.